Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Biomes of Plenty in Minecraft 1.16.1. I know the video here says 1.15.2, but I can't upload the 1.16.1 video until it's done and I'm recording it right now, so please excuse me for that. But nevertheless, this video will say 1.16.1 when you land on this page. But we're going to be getting Biomes of Plenty today. It's going to add tons of awesome biomes to Minecraft. It also adds biomes to the Nether, which you know is kind of part of 1.16.1, but you can get even more biomes in the Nether with Biomes of Plenty. So awesome stuff there. This is an incredible mod, and I'm great and very happy to see it update pretty fast to Minecraft 1.16.1, considering so much was changed with biomes in Minecraft 1.16.1. They did a great job on getting this mod updated. I will say that if you are updating from a previous world where that has biomes of plenty, hold off until this has been out a little while longer. When I'm making this video, it's came out, so make sure this video was made at least two, three weeks before you update an existing world and even still back that world up just in case because you could have different issues that they may not have ironed out yet. And if you back your world up, you're going to be perfectly fine. So never update a world without backing it up. But nevertheless, I want to put that disclaimer up front. I would wait until probably at least August 15th, 2020 before updating a 1.15.2 world to 1.16.1 Biomes of Plenty just to give them plenty of time to work out the bugs and kinks that this may have because again, so much was changed with Biomes in 1.16.1. But nevertheless, before we get into this video, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you were looking for a great way to start a Minecraft server for you and your friends, check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we need to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for Biomes of Plenty. Some people say I go too fast in these videos and they would rather use our text tutorials. If that's the case, here is a text tutorial on getting Biomes of Plenty. Otherwise, scroll down and click on this yellow Download Biomes of Plenty button. That would then take you off to their website here where you want to come over here on the right hand side and then scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. And then under that, you'll see Bombs of Plenty 1.16.1. So we can then click on the purple download button to the right of Bombs of Plenty 1.16.1, and it will go ahead and take us off to a page where the download will begin after just a few seconds. Once this download begins, it will appear in the bottom left on Google Chrome and the standard screen on Mozilla Firefox. On Google Chrome, press the keep button in the bottom left on Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of your screen. Now we aren't done downloading just yet, we still need to download Forge. Luckily, the third link in the description down below is this tutorial. This is our in-depth tutorial for Minecraft 1.16.1 Forge. Now, we're going to be showing you how to get this in this video, but we do have this in-depth tutorial linked in the description because if you have any issues, this is going to help you solve them, right? Not only is it going to be a way you can go at your own pace with Forge instead of having to follow along with the video, it's also a lot more in-depth. So if you have any issues with Forge, come here. Otherwise, I'm going to give you a quick method in this video, kind of go through it on the service level. But let's go ahead and click this green Download Forge button. That takes us off to Forge's website where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.16.1 Forge is selected. To check that, check right here. As you can see, it doesn't save 1.16.1. It says 1.15.2. So we need to come over here to the left-hand side, click on the plus 1.16. Click on 1.16.1, and then once it says MC 1.16.1 here, we can come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. Now, and then take us off to Add Focus, where you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop. Don't click a single thing. Your download is not ready. It is lying to you. Don't click a single thing on this page, except that red Skip button in the top right. Again, the only thing you want to click on this page is the red Skip button in the top right. When you click on that, in the bottom left, Forge-1.16.1 will download. If it says that, click Keep. If it doesn't, click Discard and click that red Skip button in the top right. On Mozilla Firefox, when you click that red Skip button, it will pop up in the center of your screen and say, you know, download. Forge, are you sure? Save the file. Yes, you want to save that file. Again, though, if it doesn't say Forge, just discard of it, get rid of it, and click that red skip button and download Forge. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on my desktop, I have Biomes of Plenty and Forge. I also have this weird temporary file that you probably won't have, but nevertheless, we have Biomes of Plenty and Forge here. We're actually going to be starting off with Forge, but first, what if these aren't on your desktop? Well, no worries. Click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, though, but click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. It will open up right like so, where you want to type in downloads right like that you'll have this downloads file folder click on that and then in here you will find bombs of plenty and forge drag them to your desktop just for ease of use 
Let's go ahead, though, and get started off with Forge. Now, if Forge doesn't look like this, it doesn't look like this coffee cup, no worries. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But what we want to do is right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java. But if you don't have Java here, or if these logos don't look like this, they don't look like the Java logos, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to go to the description down below and go through this tutorial. This is our in-depth tutorial for downloading and installing Java for Minecraft mods. Bombs of Plenty being a Minecraft mod, well, this is the tutorial for you, and it's going to work. It's going to get everything set up, and then you'll have Java. But sometimes those logos still don't look like Java logos, right? These logos right here don't look like Java logos. If that's the case, well, then you need to run the jar fix. And this is going to take you through every single step. And basically what it's going to do in this quick little three-step process is make all the .jar files in your computer link with Java once again, basically making them work together and linking them together right like so. So awesome stuff there. Now, finally, though, you should be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Then it will open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where all you want to do is click on install client and click OK. And then go through, download some things, do some stuff, basically do everything it needs to do to get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.16.1. So it goes through, does all that, and then boom, it'll pop up and say successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.16.1, yada yada. Then go ahead and click OK. It'll close out of that, and now we can go ahead and get Bombs of Plenty installed. You can also delete Forge from your desktop at this point. If you can't delete it, no worries. Just wait until you close out of Minecraft later, and then you'll be able to delete it. But now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure in the bottom left down here that we have the Forge profile selected. As you can see, Forge, and then under that it should say 1.16.1-Forge. But what if you don't have the Forge profile? Or what if you do have it and it doesn't say 1.16.1-Forge? Well, we have a solution for you. And that solution is here, the Installations tab. And then once you're on this Installations tab, click on this plus new button. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well, I'm going to name it that because that is the IP address of our amazing Minecraft 1.16.1 one server. We've got Grief Protected Survival, Medieval Survival with 30 custom quests, and a player-based economy, and Aquatic Survival with a slash shop-based economy. And then we also have an incredible Skyblock server with fence generators, custom islands, 1.8 PvP, OP enchantments, it's amazing, and then factions is incredible, custom enchants over there, small team-based factions, custom enchantments, it's amazing, so come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. For the latest version here, we want to click on that because we don't want the latest version. What we want is release 1.16.1-Forge. Now for me, it's up here at the top, for you it may be all the way down here at the bottom of Minecraft, but nevertheless, you want to scroll through this version list until you find release 1.16.1-Forge, then click on that. Then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't need to do that, but I'm just changing that because we're making a video and you need to be able to see once we get in game. And then finally, we can click the green create button in the bottom right. Now we have this new profile, play.breakdowncraft.com. Under that, it says 1.16.1-Forge. We can go ahead and hover over it and click on that green play button. Now it's going to open up Minecraft and guess what? We can get Bombs of Plenty installed. The hard part of this is over. All we need to do is get this installed. It's simple. Oh, clicking a few buttons and dragging and dropping. It's that easy. So the hard part is done. If you made it at this point, you see this red screen opening up Forge, or maybe the color changes in the future, I don't know. But if you see a screen opening up Forge here, the hard part of getting Bombs of Plenty is complete. So nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. And once we're on the menu, we can get the process started of installing Yes. It does take a minute to open up Minecraft. We are modding it here, and that always adds in a little bit of extra startup time, plus 1.16 takes a while anyway. But nevertheless, here we are on the main menu. Right here, we want to click on this Mods tab, and then once we've done that, we can click on the Open Mods folder in the bottom left, right like so. So click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That will then open up your Mods folder. Then you want to take Bombs of Plenty from your desktop and drag and drop that into your Mods folder, right like so. So take Bombs of Plenty from your desktop, drag and drop it into the Mods folder, and boom. It's that simple. But if you come back to Minecraft, it's not here. You click on Done, click on Mods again, it's not there. It's not going to appear until you quit the game. So quit out of Minecraft from the main menu, open up the Minecraft launcher. This time, though, you don't have to do anything fancy. Just select the profile that says 1.16.1-Forge under it, and then click on Play. It's then going to open up Minecraft, and guess what? In the preloader here, we'll be able to see Biomes of Plenty right there it is. Biomes of Plenty 1.16.1. Awesome. That shows the mods recognized. The next screen here is going to enable it right when it's opening up Minecraft. I'll wait for it to show you where it's actually enabling the mod. It's kind of interesting. Boom, it's now enabling the mod in this section. And then once it does that, it will be good to go. We will be on the Minecraft main menu with the mod working up and running. All of that stuff. Nate in Minecraft 1.16.1. 
So nevertheless, we just have to wait. Boom, there we go. Did you hear the thunder? Thunderstorm's coming, but we're finishing this video. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the Mods tab here, and there is Biomes of Plenty. Now, in order to make sure Biomes of Plenty is in your world is, if you have an existing world that you've already created in Biomes of Plenty 1.15.2, go right on into it. You're fine, you don't have to do anything special. However, Biomes of Plenty only works in new worlds. So you wanna go ahead and create a new world here. I'm gonna name this world Biomes O Plenty. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into creative. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that. And then we want to click on more world options here. Then we want to confirm that world type is biomes of plenty. If it's not, it's default or something. Click until it says biomes of plenty, right like so. Then once it says biomes of plenty there, click done and then click create new world. Now it is creating a brand new world with the biomes of plenty biomes installed, set up and running in them. It's awesome stuff. And we'll be able to see that once we get in game. So nevertheless, loading on up here. The loading process is going to take a little longer for a world. Not too much though, to be honest. It's pretty efficient with Bombs of Plenty, but still. We go ahead, load on in here. We'll be able to see. Yeah, right over there, I think, is a new biome already. We can actually pull up the F3 menu, and we'll be able to see all the different biomes. Right over here, as you can see, we are in the Biomes O Plenty Dead Forest biome, right like so. And then if we go ahead and keep flying, we will fly into definitely more different biomes. Yes, we've got one over here. Boom, we can go over here. We will enter into a, another biome. We're in a cold ocean. Then we're in biomes of plenty, cold desert. Look at that. And then if we keep flying right like so, I believe we will enter into a tundra biome with biomes of plenty. This is a biomes of plenty tundra. And as you can see, these biomes are absolutely everywhere. They also are in the nether. So if we were to go ahead and jump into this nether portal here, um, I believe we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to fix this nether portal real quick. Not a big deal, but still something we need to do. Boom, fix this nether portal real quick. Are they, were they nice enough to give us uh, flint and steel in here? Sometimes they are. Oh, we got a fire charge, though. I believe that'll work. We come in here. That thunderstorm's really going. Oh, it's not going to let me do that because that is an obsidian. Come on. Nick's such a noob. Such a noob. So, boom. Then we go into this into the nether. We will be able to see bombs of plenty of biomes here as well. All right, if we get out of here, we're in the nether waste biome now. But if we fly far enough, we should be able to get some biomes of plenty of biomes as well. They aren't going to be as prevalent in the nether because, one, there is less of them. And, two, they wanted to actually get more of the vanilla biomes going as well. But as you can see, we are now in the wither abyss biome. So not only with these Minecraft biomes, biomes of plenty undergrowth, not only do you have these new Minecraft nether biomes, you also have the biomes of plenty on. Okay, so um, we have an editor for these videos. Leave that in, because that was aggressive. That was aggressive. So the lightning struck right out there. I think you could see it on my face. Feel free to zoom in on my, my webcam there. Wow, that was crazy. Anyway, I think it's time for me to end this video if that's not a that's not a thing. We've got these biomes in here. I've proven it. All of that stuff. But thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content every single day of the week. I'm going to go ahead and end this video before our power goes out. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to lose the recording. Thank you all so much for watching. Come play with us on playdartbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. And I am out. Peace.